Hello everybody. Welcome to today's session. Today, I'm a soft skill trainer from the Department of Career Planning and Development, Chandigarh University. And today we are going to discuss about a very important topic in English that is adjectives. So what are adjectives and what is the use of adjectives? Before we start with the different types of adjectives, degrees of adjectives and what adjectives are, let me first explain what are, where does this adjective come from? So in English language, we have different parts of speech and in total, we have eight parts of speech. Noun, pronoun, verb, adverb, adjective, conjunction, preposition, and uh, the last is interjection. So today we are going to take up the topic of adjectives. So adjective is something which tells us about an additional qualification or additional quality of a noun or a pronoun. So uh, can we take an example? The example can be, she is beautiful. So she is beautiful. So what is she? She is a pronoun, right? F is, is a helping verb and beautiful is the adjective. So what is beautiful telling us? What is this, why is it an adjective? Because it's telling us about the quality that a particular girl has, okay? So we are talking about somebody. Or we can say, this apple is sour in taste, okay? This means we are talking about a particular apple which is sour in taste, we are telling about the quality of the apple, right? So similar is the case like you can have every day we use adjectives in most of our statements, our uh, communication, right? So what are the different degrees of adjective? If we just rush up to that, yes, we have three basic degrees of comparison. Three degrees of comparison. And those are positive, next is comparative, and last is superlative. So now, why are we terming them as degrees? Because it tells about the intensity of a particular adjective, how intense an adjective is. So if something we are talking about very plain, very like plain language, that is uh, the first degree, that is the positive one. For example, I say, good. Good is a positive degree of adjective. And if I have to give a comparative degree of it, it is better. And for superlative, it is best, right? So there are different degrees. When we talk about the first degree that is positive, that at that time we are giving a generalized adjective using a generalized adjective in a statement when we are making a comparison between any two people or the qualities or the characteristics of any two things at that time we are using comparative degree and when we are talking about somebody or doing the comparison of one with rest of the people or rest of the things at that time we are using superlative degree okay so let's take some examples tall is an adjective that is a positive degree. Then if we have to say uh, the comparative degree, that would be taller, tallest, heavy, heavier, heaviest. Similar, we can just go on with a long list, but there are few wherein we don't have to use ER in the comparative and EST in the superlative. Can we guess some? Yes, one I have already mentioned. Good, better, best. One, uh, some else, some other examples. Yes, if I was talking about good, then the next can be bad. Worst, worst, okay. Next, intelligent. We cannot do intelligent and plus ER edit or EST, we can't add that. So when we have to give degrees of such words, intelligent, more intelligent, most intelligent, okay. Similar goes with beautiful, more beautiful, most beautiful. So these are the different degrees of adjective that we are using. Now let us focus on the first degree that, the, sorry, the first is a positive, which is very really uh, very simple and we use in our conversation. It's just about an adjective. Okay, when we are not doing any comparison with anybody. Next is the comparative now. So when we are doing using comparative degree of adjectives, 
what we have to remember is how we are going to show that somebody is better than the rest but than the other one right so then then is a word that we can use when we are describing a comparative degree of adjective so then and to are two examples where we can just you know show about degree who is much better than the other so let's do this for example example is she is more fat than Rima. So now here we are using just the positive degree of adjective and we are making the comparison by using the word more. So what is more here? It's a comparative degree of adjective. So whenever we are doing comparison, either we have to use more or we will be using er with the verb so then see here then is the word which is showing the comparison she is more fat than rima okay another example can be I prefer tea to coffee. Now here, I will not be using the comparison degree like than, but I will be using to because I am comparing tea and coffee and I am showing my preference. So it is, I prefer tea to coffee. Okay, so this is about the comparator degree. Next is, The superlative degree and let's discuss about what points we have to remember when we are discussing superlative degree. So superlative is something which we are where we are using the quality of one person with the rest of the uh, bunch of people, bunch of things. Okay, for example, she is the tallest girl in the class so now what will you just pay attention here she is the tallest girl in the class so what we are doing is we are making comparison of a particular girl with the whole of the class we are saying she is the tallest so what we have done here we have used est along with the basic adjective and before that we are using the article so why are we using the because it's specific Whenever there will be superlative degree, we have to use the article before it. Rest in the class. So now we can just ask why is here the again? Because now we are talking about a particular class. That's why we have used a specific, whenever there's a, you know, something is specific, definite, at that time we are using the article. Okay. So she is the tallest girl in the class. So when we are doing comparison, as we were using uh, than and to in comparative, so we'll be using in in superlative, right? In or off. In superlative, we'll be using in or off to show the comparison. Okay. Now, uh, if I write, he is very unique. Is it correct? He is very unique. So we are trying to give use very with unique. So unique in itself is, you know, the highest degree. The highest degree, if we talk about adjective, this superlative degree itself. We won't be using any, you know, uh, other word, adverb to qualify this particular adjective. So we will never use very more much when it is about superlative degree. So here, one more sentence that we usually make error with is, um, say Ram is more better than his friend. So now is more better, it's more as well as better. We cannot use two degrees of comparison within one sentence. 
So we will not be writing more. We will be writing Ram is better than his friends. Okay. So let's now uh, try to use a few sentences wherein we usually make mistakes while we are writing our sentences. The first one is, as I discussed here, more and uh, and better. This means two degrees of comparison will never come in one sentence. Other example is, he is more stronger than his opponent. So more stronger. Won't be together, it will be he is more strong or he is stronger. Either of the two. Next, he is one of the best players in our team. So he is one of the best players or he is the best player of our team. This is the most impossible challenge. So this sentence is wrong. This is, that is the most impossible challenge. So that is most impossible. So impossible in itself is the highest degree, superlative degree. So we will not be using two superlative degrees in one sentence. So what will be the sentence? That is an impossible challenge. So we were using the, but when we are uh, now, most is not there, so impossible, it st uh, starts with I. So our article will also change accordingly. So that is an impossible uh, challenge. Your voice is very unique. Again, one example I have already shared, unique in itself, superlative degree. So we will not be using very or any other uh, you know, degree of comparison with it. Next is, he is the most complete man I have come across. He is 